بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني أن إنك العليم الحكيم اللهم أخرجنا من ظلمات الوهم وأقربنا بنور الفهم وفت علينا بمعرفة العلم وسهل أخلاقنا بالحلم آمين وأجمعين اللهم ارزقني نعمة الإخلاص بوجهك الكريم بكل ما أقول وبكل ما أفعل آمين يا رب العالمين My lecture today is about chest x-ray terminology In this lecture I will discuss some of the common chest terminology using, used in daily practice Consolidation, it is an aerospace obesities that are fluffy like cumulus clouds that often indicate pneumonia. As we see here, there is a consolidation area looks like clouds and indicates, usually indicates pneumonia, sometimes indicates mass lesion or indicates tumor like in alveolar carcinoma. Density, it is whiteness or blackness or any area of the whiteness or blackness on the image, obesity. Bones are one of the examples. Imaging densities include soft tissue, including blood, fluid, fat, calcium, and even air load density. As we see here, we have five densities, air, fat, it is looks, look, looks like low density. The air, it is more black than the fat, soft density, soft tissue density, and bone and metal density. Bone and metal density are white but the more white on the metal density seen as we see here the bone it is it is white and we see here the fat it is in between the soft tissue and also we see the soft tissue uh, but we cannot differentiate the soft tissue from one each other, for example, liver from spleen or from heart. And also we have the we have the black what is air in the lung. H any visible demarcation between a density on one side and lucency on the other side. And it is important X-ray phenomenon that the edge of the structure only visible if the borders by the structure of different density. For example, here, the edge of the consolidation, it is between the heart and it is not well seen. And we have the silhouette sign. And here we have the edge between the heart and the density or the consolidation. It is well demarcated and it is obliterated also the, the diaphragm. And this is also silhouette sign. And this, it is located in the lingula and this, it is located in the lower lobe. A fluid level, an edge between dependent fluid and adjacent air. It can be air fluid level or can be fluid fluid level. And only seen in the horizontal beam or the cubitus. As we see here in this lung abscess, we have air fluid level in the lung abscess because the patient it is standing. Infiltrate, it is non-descriptive term 
that often used to indicate an obesity exists that may represent a consolidation or interstitial pattern or atelectasis. As we see here, this is an interstitial pattern and this is a consolidation in this area. From the radiologist to the provider, there is a flexibility flexibility in the interpretation. Interstitium or interstitial used to describe the linear obesities are not the blood vessels. Rather, may occur vessels at angles, not in a branching button as we see here. Lucency, a blackness or any area of blackness on the image. The trachea, as we see here, it is an example. Also the lung, it is an black. And also the this lung abscess, this is the black in the upper part and the fluid in the lower part. Mass lesion, a well-defined obesity that may or may not represent a mass. Example, tumor versus pseudo tumor. Obliterated, obscured structure that should otherwise be seen. Other description include mask or not seen or not well visualized. A projection in the path of the X-ray, the path of the X-ray beam can be frontal projection, or as we have just X-ray in the BA view, or in the AB view, or lateral projection, decubitus, upright, or erect position. Shadow, it is an anything visible on the image. Hence, any specific density or lucency. For example, shadow of the heart, shadow of the vertebral body, shadow of the liver, spleen of the soft tissue. Silhouette, it is cinnamon for edge. Loss of an edge const constitute the silhouette sign. As we described previously, if the, the edge between the heart and the consolidation, it is not well seen and obscure the heart shadow, the heart margin, it is silhouetted with the heart, either on the right side or on the left side. If it is on the right side, it is in the middle lobe, and it is on the right side, it is in the lingula. Stripe, either an edge or line. We will discuss it in the in the next lectures in the mediastinum. And we have many stripes. Look here as we have the right paratracheal stripe and we have the line here, descending line, aortic descending line. And we have also summation of shadow and anatomical noise of overlying structure. This often happiness with the posterior ribs overlying the vessels and anterior ribs may mimic an infiltration. For example, here the burst shadow, it is an over or, uh, uh, summation of shadow simulating, uh, 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 simulating an idiot. The tram track it is a parallel line, as we see here, parallel line that looks like a tram or a train tracks due to the outlining bronchi as we see it in the bronchiectasis. These are some of the common uh, terminology used in daily practice. And we will discuss with more examples of this terminology in more detail in the following lecture. 
سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب لك. See you in the next lecture.